after understanding molarity and its drawback the only problem which it has that it depends upon the temperature of the sol a temperature because as the temperature changes the volume of the solution changes so therefore the molarity of the solution will also get changed we, we were forced to give another term which is called molality now how this molality is different from molarity let us see this first now molality is defined as the number of moles of solute present in per 1000 grams of solvent you can also write in per kg of solvent so what we did is in place of taking the volume of the solution and in place of taking the mass of the solution mass of a solution was a good option because we know the mass is independent property it doesn't depends on the temperature but again the problem was this once we have to take the mass of the mass of the solution we have to know the mass of the solvent and of the solute and if the solutes are gaseous or liquids we need to know their density so that again the problem was completely omitted how by taking just the mass of the solvent not the solution it is the only term in whole of the chemistry in which the in terms of so, in, in base of solution the solvent is considered so it is the number of moles of the solute present in per thousand grams or per kg of the remember the word solvent and we are taking solvent in terms of its mass so it is not going to change with the temperature that's why this term is much more important and more uh, uh, having a higher advantage more advantage than the term molarity therefore whenever we have hot solutions which in which we need to change the temperature we expresses their concentrations in terms of molarity molality not molarity because molarity has the advantage it doesn't varies with the temperature now let us see the formula molality as it is said it is the number of moles of the solute per kg of the solvent so what is wb is is the weight of the solvent see all these previous uh, these uh, symbols are the same ones which we have been using so it's nb by wb here the weight is in kg if the weight of the solvent is in grams what we will do in order to convert it into kg we will multiply this by thousand so this is the another way another for way of writing the same formula in this case the weight of the solvent is in grams then we know how to expand or how to find out the number of moles of the solute so we can change this formula as molality weight of solute molar mass of solute thousand weight of the solvent so this is the actual formula of the molality in which in place of volume we are having weight of solvent and in particular in this formula it is in grams if it is in kg we will not write down thousand here now what is the unit the unit of this term is it is moles per kg which is in short called molar and the symbol is small m so this is what is molality is now let us see in numericals how they are used let us see a numerical how the molality and molarity are determined for a solution the numerical is find the molarity and molality of a, of a urea aqueous solution having 18 grams of it in 100 ml volume density of the solution is 1.08 gram per cc so from here it is very clear that the weight of the solute is 18 grams your solute is urea which is NH2 CO NH2 so its molar mass is 60 grams per mole and uh, its volume is 100 ml so molarity which is weight by molar mass 
into 1000 by V is 18 by 60 into 1000 by 100. So, this is 0.3, this is 10, so it is 3 molar. Now, let us find out, so molarity is 3 molar. Now, let us find out what will be the molality of the same solution. Now, molality, we know is weight of the solute molar mass 1000 upon weight of the solvent. We know weight of the solute is 18, its molar mass is 60, it's 1000. The only thing which we do not know is the weight of the solvent, but we know the volume of the solution and density of the solution is given 1.08. So, we will use this information. How? Let us see this. This can be used as we know density is mass by volume. So, mass is density into volume. So, density is 1.08, volume is 100 ml. So, this will come out to be 108 grams is your solution mass. Out of this, 18 grams is your urea. So, how much is your, how much is your solvent? It is 90 grams is your water in this. So, what we have is therefore, this is what is your weight of the solvent is. So, we will put 90 here. So, it is 0.3 which is 30 upon 9 and on solving this what we get is this molality comes out to be 3.3 molal. So, this is how we can find out the molality and molality of the solutions.